couple more showers, Darren, actually, at first this afternoon. Let's just take a look at Wimbledon. You can see that there have been showers on and off through the morning, and there are a couple more out towards the west, too, so they could delay play at first this afternoon. Having said that, I think it will tend to dry out later on this afternoon, if turned rather on the cloudy side, and then, yes, there's some more rain on the way for this evening, and it's going to be quite a blustery afternoon, too. As for tomorrow, it stays unsettled, rain clearing away to showers. Thursday, fingers crossed, is looking mainly dry, but then on Friday and for the weekend, yes, it's unsettled again. Now, for the rest of us, it's certainly been unsettled this morning. We've had quite a few showers across northern England, and you can see now some thicker cloud outbreaks of rain moving in towards the southwest, and that wet weather shown by the yellow colours here will travel across southern Britain later today, tonight and tomorrow. Now, it looks like that rain could be rather heavy and prolonged. Yes, the Met Office has issued a weather watch for that heavy rain. There could be an inch or more of rain in some parts of southern Britain. There's even a risk of gales along English Channel coasts. And you'd be forgiven for thinking it's autumn out there, not summer. It's not feeling particularly warm this afternoon. A top temperature of just 16 to 19 at the very best. And away from the cloud and the rain in the southwest later on, there will be a mixture of sunny spells and quite a few showers. And some of those showers could still turn out to be heavy with the odd rumble of thunder. So those showers through this evening and tonight will die back towards the coast. And you can see that wet weather across many southern areas. So it is a cloudy and a wet start for the day across many southern parts. It's also going to be quite windy, not very pleasant for travelling. Now that cloud and rain will slowly ease towards the east during the day, leaving behind sunny spells, quite a few showers. But hopefully late in the day, those showers will tend to become fewer and further between. And in a northwesterly wind, it's not going to feel very warm again, a top temperature of 16 to 18 degrees. So this is our wet weather tomorrow. That moves into Central Europe on Thursday. So it looks like Geneva will be cloudy with outbreaks of rain for the next couple of days. For the warm, for the sunny weather, you need to head south, say to Nice or for Athens, where temperatures will get into the low 30s. Now, it looks like there will be a good deal of dry and fine weather here at home on Thursday. However, thicker cloud is going to bring outbreaks of rain in towards Northern Ireland around the middle of the day, and that is going to slip eastwards during the afternoon. Top temperature on Thursday, about 18 to 20 degrees. But then on Friday, things go downhill again. We're going to see cloud and outbreaks of rain drifting eastwards to most of us. However, some northern areas could hold on to some dry and fine weather. So to recap, it's definitely pretty autumnal out there. It's cool, often windy, and it's staying unsettled.